What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Oh wow, it's bright out here. Spring is finally here. We have a really nice day out today. So um, because of that, I wanted to start on my summer prep. So what does that mean? That doesn't mean I'm shredding. That has nothing to do with fitness. That just means I'm ready to get the car all cleaned up for show season this summer. So we're actually gonna start off with the engine and I'm gonna show you the easiest way to clean up your engine. Uh, so that way it looks really good during show season, even if your engine is stock. And it's also really good to keep up with the engine cleaning um, throughout. So just a few things that I wanted to touch on before we get started with the video itself and cleaning up the engine bay. I want to do a Q&A, uh, so if you guys have any questions you want to ask me regarding the channel, regarding myself, regarding anything that has to do um, with my GTI or whatever, uh, feel free to ask below. Um, I'll probably post that up sometime next week and I'll pick you know, some of the questions, I'll go through them just like uh, other people do and uh, go through that stuff because sometimes I feel like there are questions that are left unanswered. If you have any you know, questions, feel free to ask below. I'll answer them next week. So here are the products we're gonna use um, and disregard the sprinkler sound on the back, but here are the products we're gonna use. We're gonna start off with some tough stuff. You can find this stuff at Walmart uh, for like three bucks, three and a half dollars. Um, also got a couple rags here to clean up the dirt. Got a small brush, a detailing brush uh, that I use on my wheels and things like that. Um, nothing that you use on the actual paint itself uh, to use on this because of the, all the grime and grease and stuff like that. Um, also got some black tire gel. You can use whatever gel you like and an old rag just to kind of clean up the tire gel. As you can see, plenty of dust and uh, things accumulate over the winter time, and uh, we want to make sure this engine looks really clean. So we're actually going to start off by taking off my hood bra, because we are not going to need this anymore. We're not going to be running this particular hood bra right now, um, or at least through the summer either. So we're going to unclip everything, get that out of the way, and pull this right off. If you guys want to buy this hood bra, it is a notched hood bra. Um, I'm not going to be using this later on. There's a little sneak preview for uh, one of the next videos. But it is a Cobra bra and it is diamond shaped. So if you guys want to buy this, uh, let me know down below and uh, we can set something up. So many people clean their engine bay using water. We are not going to do that today. I'm actually going to peel off this sticker from the JB4. So in order to get a really good clean, I'm actually going to take off the intake. You don't have to do this, but I suggest you do just so that you can get everything that's underneath. A few shots of what the engine bay looks right now. Looks like right now you have a ton of dust in here. Um, you have very dirty areas all over the place. We can even pop this up and there'll be a ton of dirt down there. The walls are completely filthy. So all of this stuff is going to come off with our little method of cleaning this up. This method really just involves using some of this. Make sure you take your old rag and you stuff it into the turbo inlet because you don't want any of this stuff really going in there. Not that this is gonna damage too much if it, a little bit gets in there, but you definitely don't want a substantial amount going in there. So we're pretty much just gonna spray. We're gonna start off with the valve cover. We'll spray it on. Just like that. And then we'll just work the surface. And work the tough stuff in. This stuff is really good. Make sure you get inside all the crevices because that's going to make the biggest difference in how this actually turns out. Go you know, nice and clean. And then just keep repeating the steps throughout the whole engine bay. Pay particular attention to the edges over here because that's going to accumulate the most dirt. difference much cleaner on the sides much cleaner up top valve cover looks good look at the sides there's no grime or anything like that around here which is good looks a lot better so for those of you guys that are wondering why the heck you would do this well honestly you don't have to and truth is most people never do and the reason why you would do this is because one you're a neat freak. Or two, 
you like to know what's going on in your engine. And uh, when you're cleaning it, it's a good time to see if there are any leaks or any potential damages done to the car, the engine bay, anything like that. Anything looks out of place. It's a good time to do that stuff. And also because the more you let it build up, the more you're gonna have to clean up later on. So that's my guide to doing it. It's very simple. Uh, most people use the water. Um, honestly, I just like to touch it up and every so often, every few years, I will do the water just to get the rest of it out. But this way you can maintain the engine as much as you can and making it simple. If you guys are doing some show prep, this might be something you might wanna do at the spot. Otherwise, it's a good thing for everyone to do. You learn your engine bay a little bit also. So if you guys have any questions for me, uh, make sure you post them down below. I will be doing a Q&A uh, very soon here. So I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Peace out.